One cloudy afternoon, while reading in his secret corner, something unusual caught Amsum's attention. It wasn't about planets or stars this time. It was about a moon, but not just any moon, the biggest moon in the entire solar system. The name of this moon was Ganymede, and it orbited the planet Jupiter. Amsum's eyes lit up. He had heard of Jupiter before, the biggest planet in the solar system, but he had never realized one of its moons could be bigger than the planet Mercury. That seemed wild. Huh? A moon bigger than a planet? That idea alone was enough to send his imagination into orbit. He pictured himself flying through space in his imaginary rocket, weaving past clouds of gas, swirling storms and dancing asteroids. Finally, he reached Jupiter. The gas giant wrapped in orange and white bands, spinning faster than any other planet. Around it, dozens of moons circled like bees around a flower. Among them floated Ganymede, the giant moon, majestic and mysterious. Aum Sum imagined himself landing gently on Ganymede's icy surface. Ganymede, he had read, wasn't just big, it was fascinating. It had its own magnetic field something no other moon had. That meant it could trap particles from space and even glow with its own auroras. Huh? Beneath its frozen surface, scientists believed there might be an ocean of salty water, maybe even more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. As he explored the towering cliffs and vast valleys of this frozen world, Amsum learned that Ganymede was over 3,200 miles wide. That made it even larger than Earth's moon, and, astonishingly, larger than Mercury. Yet, despite its size, Ganymede wasn't a planet. It didn't orbit the Sun. It orbited Jupiter, which made it a moon by definition. Hmm. 